Hey everyone, it's Amaius here, and welcome to another Nikki video. As you can see here, we have unlimited ammo, that's right, unlimited ammo from Winter Ludmilla. She will never ever need to reload, and it's absolutely insane, the amount of damage she is able to output. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to achieve the unlimited ammo, and uh, what team are really really good in junction with Ludmilla and how she would function. So let's take a deep dive into this beast of a winter limited unit. And of course for those of you like I've said without Moldunia, Winter Ludmilla is basically your Moldunia banner. Just really really awesome looking at the damage. It's absolutely crazy. Now if we take a look at uh, Ludmilla's skill, you can see that uh, the majority of this insane attack coming from skill 1 and skill 2 is really really strong especially when hitting the cores right you've got uh, extra damage of a final attack as your additional damage when you land uh, the amount of hits now this is directly tied a lot of people don't know this but this is directly tied to your fps so if you don't have 60 fps from either your device um, or your pc then you're going to miss out on a bit a bit of damage uh, this is the case for all machine gun users and the key point in getting this this unlimited ammo build is skill one. Now, if you take a look and we'll check the um, skill build recommendations, my multi, uh, my Ludmilla is fully overloaded. With regards to the skill, of course, you want max 10, 10, 10. But if you on a budget, okay, the skill to max is skill one because this is essentially what's going to trigger the final attack and all all of your attacks because skill two is on the core and uh, not every single enemy has cores or exposed cores. So you want definitely max the level one level two is okay uh, the crit rate is really really minimal um so you could keep it even at level four so the threshold or the check marks we have are level four seven and ten because after that the materials increases exponentially so you can go ten four seven if that's what you want and uh, the final burst skill is really good. This is actually a pretty decent amount of attack boost. And reloading speed, while it is nice, um, in the infinite or unlimited ammo build, we don't really need it. So 10 for 7, I would say minimum. Uh, ideally, you want to go 10, 10, 10, or even 10, 4, 10, or 10, 7, 10. But uh, ideally, 10, 10, 10. Okay, but with skill 1, the most important. Because this gives a huge amount of ammunition reload after you land a certain amount of hits. Couple that with the Bastion Cube, which gives you basically after 10 rounds fire you get three additional rounds and of course you get um, some elemental advantage bonus as well but this is really really amazing in terms of the synergy it gives because you just keep firing and with the overload gear you can see that um, you want attack and max ammunition and alley damage because water is actually a very very good elemental um, uh, class now with all of the support uh, that's available so you definitely want uh, alley damage attack and max ammunition two lines I would say minimum unless you have one max row on the um, uh, on the ammunition but ideally on two lines you can see here I got three lines and the rest I still need to reroll but attack and alley damage is 100% what you want with a bastion cube now the only other time you could utilize resilience cube as you have um, allies on your team that can help with reload speed and what you want to do is after you burst you just reload doing the burst okay as soon as you burst because this reload speed is 20 seconds so anytime you're doing the burst make sure you keep track of your ammo and uh, when the enemy is jumping or anything like that you can utilize that resilience stacked on top of the um on top of the uh, skill 10 if it's high enough to almost instantly reload so that's the other time where you can use resilience but bastion if you have overload gear is still the best again going for max ammunition attack and alley advantage so looking at the team okay looking at the teams uh currently if you're looking at uh, current viable teams, we know that um, uh, Moldonia teams look like this right now. You either filled it with um, Alice or Red Hood, and this allows you to have a sniper rifle that can quick scope to charge the burst gauge, and Moldonia benefits heavily, heavily from Noir and Blanc, right? So if you don't have Moldonia, I think the, um, <laughs> the choice is simple. Bring your Winter, Moldernia, aka Ludmilla, and then this is your team, basically. With the synergy from uh, Noir and Blanc, uh, you basically never ever have to reload, right? You have your max ammunition because that appliance of the max ammo will make it so that um, 
the uh, the ammo clip kind of refills and you've got litters uh, skill one to refill that as well you will never ever run out of ammo with uh, Ludmilla so that's one of the theme however you most likely if you have Ludmilla in your end game you most likely don't want to move uh, your Modernia out of here um, so what you want to do is utilize the core mechanic, the core hitting mechanic, and bring Naga and Tia into the mix, right? So this way, you can run for units, for example, like Dorothy and uh, even uh, some other units to mix in. But Dorothy is ideally used on the Privity team. But this is another set of cores that you can use. Uh, you, of course, still have to fill out the uh, burst ones and whatnot. But uh, this just does exponentially insane amounts of core damage because if you take a look at the um uh, the skills from um here we go from naga you will be able to do uh attacking core damage increase uh affects two allies with the highest stack so even your core damage is increased on top right so because you know you want to be hitting cores with uh, ludmilla's and uh, it's really really good it's really really good uh, so that's another way to build it but um, unless you have four lines of infinite ammo with some other ways of uh, building it then this team you might be better off with resilience but bastion if you have four lines of overload or three lines with high overload you can still get near infinite max ammo and there will be boss fights where you have to cover regardless pretty much all of the mechanic in some of the solo raid or unit raid will require you to cover to dodge some form of aoe or mechanic and then out of that you can basically recover doing the burst time it or just uh, reload during that period and to get the full <laughs> full ammo back now this is absolutely insane but there is also a future future potential if we take a look at units like um mary or summer helm these are units that are really really good for water type right for water alleys you can see affecting all water alleys damages strong elements so this is quite a decent boost uh only level four but max you're getting huge amount of damage increase which comes at the end of the attack uh calculation so it's really really good and also you know, affecting enemies you can see that uh <laughs> it's really really good uh, and this is for electric, sorry. This is for electric. Affects the same target and when they're electric. So this is uh, iron, basically, I guess, electric. But um, utilizing Summer Mary as a potential heal. So you can see the um, other team I talked about. If you build it like so, Naga and then Tia. Um, this basically offers the sustain you need, right? With the water Ellie strong damage. And then you can, and there I say it, <laughs> you can bring out the water Ellie's such as our Summer Neon who's being benched. So this is more of a, you know, testing needed, probably a mean build uh, with lots of firepower. But you know what? It's looking pretty bright for Ludmilla, especially we know that she can keep up with units such as Moldernia. For those without Moldernia, um, you know what? A very, very fantastic pickup. So again, Overload here. For those of you that don't know how to Overload, because I think uh, uh, some of you may have questions regarding that. I'll just take Maxwell, because I don't think... Oh, yeah. So you need to get a manufacturer specific uh, gear so this is it uh, disrupts from level 7 onward for um, uh, from um, special interception level it up to level 4 and after you level it up to level 4 there's a uh, button that appears here um, you click on it it will use one of the uh, rocks that you have to use um, that uh, you obtain from the max level clearance of special interception and then it'll be able to turn to overload gear and once it's in overload gear then you can use a change effect to uh, reroll the substats needed i do have a guide from a while back but that's how you obtain basically the um uh, the overload stats and max ammo for sure will make ludmilla insanely insanely good so yeah hopefully you enjoy the build guide um this is going to be basically unlimited ammo insane amounts of damage ludmilla just won't stop firing and look they even tell you who to use noir and blanc right bring out the bunny girls use it with the ludmilla and just look at everything melt that's it <laughs> that's pretty much it anyhow let me know your thoughts are you happy with how Ludmilla turned out? Um, I think Mika won't be as insane as Ludmilla, but uh, guys, we still may have a New Year Pilgrim coming up, so stay strong. Hopefully your gym stacks are safe, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye now.